Okay, this is another problem and to test our understanding of um, the definition of fractions. So what we're seeing here, we have all these axes, they form a shape of a rectangle. You can actually imagine the shape to be uh, like um, a piece of a cake. And um, what you're, we are seeing right here, the entire shape, uh, it's like a, a leftover from a whole cake. So what this represents, it's not the whole cake. So we need to make sure we understand it's not the whole, not the whole, not the whole cake. And it's only three fifths of the uh, cake. So from here all the way to here, it's three fifths of the whole. So it's only a portion. What we are seeing is not the whole, it's a portion. So what we need to do is to show the original rectangle so we need to add the uh, a portion back to get the whole. Either we add to the bottom, but how much, um, how many rows of x's should I add? We don't really know. So we need that's what we need to decide. Or possibly you could add um, a portion to the right to make um, the whole. So that's what we need to figure out. But the to in order to do this problem, it's all based on the definition. So again, three fifths means three parts, each has the size one fifth. So remember here, this uh, piece of cake has three parts in here. So by the definition, it has three parts in here, each of size one fifth. And so we, again, we're not seeing, uh, so one mistake I saw students who did before was, so they were thinking, okay, we divide this into five equal parts. And which is incorrect because uh, when you divide, when if you're thinking, okay, we have three fifths, we have to divide the whole into five equal parts, but that's divide the whole into five equal parts. But the problem here is what we're given. It's not the whole. Again, not the whole. It's it's only three fifths, which which is a portion. So we cannot take this divide into five equal parts how many parts actually has in this shape three parts because that's what the definition of three-fifths is so we we again we don't have five we cannot divide the shape into five equal parts because it's not the whole we can only divide it into three equal parts because that's what three-fifths means and notice that we have one two three four five six rows and if you count the columns we actually have uh, 10 columns so if you want to divide them by columns and it's gonna be difficult because you have 10, try to divide 10 by three, you're not gonna get a whole number. So it's better to divide by rows. So it's because six divided by three, we get two rows. So each part has two rows. So we're gonna cut right here. And now, what is the size of each part? One fifth. So you have one fifth here, and the next part, second part, one fifth here, and then one fifth here, all three together, that's three fifths. And remember, we want to show the whole, so which means we have three parts, we are missing two parts. In order to make the whole, we need five, uh, entire five, five parts. So the two parts were missing, and remember the size, each of size one fifth. So we can, and we already know what one fifth looks like. And two rows, each row has 10, 10 X's. So you're gonna have to add, uh, I guess, a bunch of these X's and 10 with 10 of these, I'm not gonna count, I'm gonna have a, so that's that's um, another one fifth here, and you're gonna have to do more, uh, another uh, kind of 10 here, because I do have um, the correct version down here, one fifth. So all of these together will make three parts plus two parts, that's five parts, which is the whole. So I'm gonna show you the answer right here. So, okay, so that's how we do this problem.